Welcome to the flowerschool.com video library. I'm Leanne Kessler, director of the Floral Design Institute, and today I'm here to share with you a classic vase of flowers, one that we all use over and over again, updated for today. To update the design, rather than doing a tall vase, going shorter, wider, then also to update going with natural mechanics, plain water mixed with flower food, to conceal some of the stems, aspidistra leaves. Just give it a cut and then roll it into the vessel, tucking it in. Repeating that one more time, just to get a little more coverage. Now some stems will show, but this gives it a little added interest. Rather than using foam or floral netting or another armature, I'm going to work with natural mechanics, using a bit of foliage, some eucalyptus, placing it in first, making sure nothing's going to go into the water, so it's just the stems, and then coming back with another, and just crossing, weaving the stems from side to side, repeating that. Now always stripping down the lower foliage. You don't want that into the water. And again, you can also use larger blooms to start filling in that help build a network to support all your flowers. So maybe a chrysanthemum tucked very low, so it's an understory below the other blooms, which will then help support everything as you build larger. Hydrangea also works well, giving it a cut and placing it in. With the base structure in place, you can go back and add the next layer, thinking a little taller, a little bit longer, coming out over the top, creating another layer of flowers, radiating everything around using that same central binding point. And each flower helps hold the next flower in place. Some Ocean Song roses coming up higher, weaving it in. Some beautiful Alstroemeria also coming up higher. Carnations. So many things, creating levels within the design so that it pulls out larger, fuller, more dramatic, and still supported by the understory. So we have the base layer, a mid layer, and now I'm going to add a third, going a little longer, adding some line material to create interest, letting it come out a little taller than the other blooms. Filling in. So it's almost like taking a walk in the forest, a ground cover, a mid-level, and then the trees that come out over the top. Filling it in. Again, radiating through that central binding point, and then adding fun flowers, the interest flowers, letting them come up a little taller, the ranunculus, maybe a tulip, and working in layers allows you to create a design that's contemporary, on trend, and perfect for today. For the final touch, a little bit of texture, adding interest, scabiosa pods, a little Queen Anne's lace, turning it, Checking that it looks good from all angles. Adding more texture. Letting it come out nice and full. And fill it in until it's perfect. The classic vase design, updated for today. New materials, new mechanics, using flowers as their own support system. So much texture, so much interest, 
all quite easy once you know the professional techniques. You'll find more creative inspiration on the website at flowerschool.com. If you have questions, you can reach us through there or pick up the telephone and give us a call at 503-223-8089. Now it's your turn. What are you going to create? Gather your favorite flowers, the perfect vase, design a way. Be sure to post a photo on social media and tag Floral Design Institute. That way we all can see as you do something you love.